less than a week away. The minute's just talking about this from the total solar eclipse. And as many of you get ready for all of this, safety obviously concerning to make sure when you look into those skies. Technology will allow those who are blind or visually impaired to actually hear and feel the event as well. Yeah, Kennedy Walker joins us live from Fort Worth. So, Kennedy, we're all wondering, how does this work? Hey, good morning, Madison and Steve. Right now, I am live at the Fort Worth Botanic Gardens, which will serve as a focal point for eclipse watchers on Monday. This is a rare opportunity to be able to see a total eclipse. And now, thanks to new technology, everyone will be able to experience it. That includes people who can't see at all. The Lighthouse for the Blind in Fort Worth is partnering with the Botanic Gardens for next week's eclipse to create a unique and accessible experience for the visually impaired. There will be a ton of sensory activities, including a light sound device. Take a listen to this, and I'll explain how it works. You hear that? That is how the blind will be able to witness the eclipse. The light sound device translates changing light in the sky into different musical notes, allowing those who are visually impaired to experience the eclipse through sound. When the sun is bright, there will be high flute tones. As the sunlight starts to fade, you can hear clarinet sounds. And when the moon completely conceals the sun, there will be a low clicking sound like this. There will also be tactile coloring sheets, activity guides, and large raised line images that will offer an engaging learning experience about the different phases of the eclipse. If you make simple accommodations, anybody can experience it and be a part of the community. And I think that's what this does, is it allows them to be a part of an event, be inclusive, and really break down those barriers that are kind of perceived by the community that really, truly blind and visually impaired can do anything if the right accommodations are being made. Yes, the blind can definitely do anything. But coming up, hear from one blind woman who says she's always been interested in space and despite not being able to see, is looking forward to viewing the eclipse next Monday. Reporting live in Fort Worth, Kennedy Walker, CBS News, Texas. Yes, involving everyone with that. That's mm -hmm. absolutely good to see. Thank you, Kennedy.